Right, so the plans are today is what we're going to do is we're going to use the picoscope to check an injector and we're doing it on a, a Eurocargo, an LF45 Iveco. So all I'll do is I'll show you how to set the uh, picoscope up. We'll take a scope pattern and we'll analyse the trace to let you see what's physically happening with the injector and what information we can get from it. So for this, we're going to use the Picoscope 4000 series. Just now, I've got three things plugged in, but actually I'm only using two just now for the injector. So channel B, which is the red lead, we're going to be measuring the voltage in the injector. Channel C, which has got an amp clamp connected to it, is going to be measuring the amperage of the injector. What we'll do is we'll take a screen of it. We're using the Picoscope 7. Now I've already taken the trace off it. You can see here I've frozen it, but I want to show you how to connect it all. And you can see on the red line at the top, that's measuring the voltage and the green line underneath, which is the amperage. And from here, we should be able to see is the injector getting the voltage from the ECU, but also internally is the injector physically working. And we can see that from the amperage. And we can actually also see as well whether the injector is closing. You can see that be slight dip there on that amperage that shows when the pintle goes back down and sits on its seat. So let me show you how it's connected to the physical truck itself. So we're on the Aveco, it's got the ISBE, this is the 3.9 litre four cylinder engine. Um, we've got channel A as we mentioned, which is the red lead. I'll move this out the road just now, that's the amp clamp. These have got two plugs on them. So one plug does two injectors, number one and two, and down here is injector three and four. Red lead, we've got that into the cable just now at the moment for number one which is a brown and a white wire. And I've got the amp clamp around the same wire. Now the amp clamp itself, I'll just take this off just now. Oh. That we're using is a 60 amp clamp. And if you look at it, you'll see there's an arrow on it and that's the direction of current flow. So you need to be careful of that when you're plugging it on or putting it over the wire. Make sure that that direction is the amperage or the where the electrons are going essentially the the current flow so i'll make sure that's connected around the cable connect uh, correctly i've got the red lead on it measuring the voltage i've got a common earth at the moment just now we're just using an earth point on the chassis nice clean earth and let's measure and see what we get now i've connected it up i've started the engine i've got a repeat trigger on the voltage at the moment, which is why your injectors are sitting nice and steady. But you'll notice that the amperage is jumping down the way. That's because I have put the amp clamp on the wrong way around. Two seconds, let me fix it and let's revisit it. Right guys, so red is voltage, green is amperage. First thing we're looking at is the pre or the pilot injection, which is just after the bottom dead centre. We've been up to near 70 volts to open it up, and then we've got the main injection, which is the same as well, but you can see that it's been held open for longer. You've got the amperage, which starts at zero amps, goes up to about 20. Because it's been pulsed, that's why it looks jagged at the top. And of course, then what you have is it trailing off back down to zero again before the main injection comes in. And you should have a nice gradual build up as it comes up. It shouldn't go straight up. If it goes straight up, it means the injector is shorted. And here we can see actually where the injector is closed. That's why we're getting that wee kind of uh, lump, if you like, just to the side. That's when the injector goes back down to being closed again. This whole process between pre or pilot injection starting and the main injection finishing is really, really quick. So I'll show you here. So if I bring the rulers along, you'll see that actually between the very start and the very end of main injection, we're only 2.3 milliseconds. So a very, very quick process. So when you're checking injectors, you've got, in this case, we had four to scope it or compare it against. You're looking to see that 
ramp up a voltage at the start, then it dropping down and being pulsed, and then the amperage should follow the voltage.